How to change the app display name of your Flutter project on iOS and Android. And I will show you two alternatives. First of all, the automatic way of changing the app display name for iOS and Android and also how you can do it manually. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Before you publish your app to the app stores, most of the time you also want to change the app name and therefore we want to get started by changing the app name automatically for iOS and Android and therefore we will make use of this Flutter launcher name package with which you can automatically update your app name. To change your app name automatically on iOS and Android, you go to your pub's back jumble file and here under the dev dependencies, you need to add this Flutter launcher name inside. And secondly, we need to add this Flutter launcher name statement and here you need to define then the name of your application. And the last step is to go to your terminal or your command line and here you need to go to your Flutter project, which you also have here right now open. And now that we are here in the root folder of our Flutter project, we simply type here this command and then you need to press enter. And if you see here start exit, then everything was successfully. And the very last step is to stop your Flutter application if it is running currently and then you need to start it again. After your app has started, you simply can minimize it or close your application. And then you should see that he has changed your name on Android and iOS. And this is exactly the name which you have defined in your pub spec jumble file. If you then want to change your name again, then you simply change it here inside and then you run the command again like before and restart your application. Let's also look at how we can change our app name manually on Android and iOS. To change your app name on Android, you simply need to go to your Android folder, app, source, main, and here to the Android manifest. And here inside of your application tag, you need to go to the Android label attribute. And like you can see here, we have my app inside. And this is what the package automatically put for you already here inside. And if you want to change it manually, then you simply need to change it here only. And then you need to restart your application. So let's stop our application and start it again. And now you should see here the new Android app name. And this is exactly the name which we have defined within our label. Let's also change our app name for iOS manually and therefore we simply go to our iOS folder, to the runner folder and here to the info plist file. And here you will see the key value pair CF bundle name. And here you can simply manually change your app name for iOS and save it. And after this you stop your application and start it again. And after you minimize your application, you will see that this app name is exactly the same name which we have defined here within our info plist file. Alternatively, you can change your app name with an Xcode if you have a Mac. And therefore, you simply click on this iOS folder and click on open in Xcode. And here you need to click on runner, select the target as runner and go to the general tab. And here you should also see the app display name, which is grayed out in this case. If you define here your app name, then it has priority over the app name, which you have defined within your info plist file. If you want to take the app name out of your info plist file, then you simply need to remove it. So let's try it out if we define our app name in Xcode directly. And after you stop your app in your IDE and start your app again, then you see we have here the new name which is exactly the name which we have defined in Xcode. And this name has then priority over the name which we have defined within our info plist file. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!